All right. So when I first saw um, a Hail Conjurer album for sale, uh, just a couple of years ago, uh, the, the first one, I thought, well, it's probably just some Finnish guy's version of Bathory. Yeah, a shirtless guy on the front. Uh, people suggested a barbaric style. Normally that just means, all right, here's some early Bathory worship with, you know, someone who works, from someone who works out, you know. And uh, actually, you know, it's it's um, it's a, a Finnish musician who is the current vocalist of Hooded Menace, but he's maybe more regarded as an individual in uh, Ride for Revenge and Horse Latitudes. Horse Latitudes was a, is a experimental doom metal group that kind of uh, fell off the radar after he joined uh, Ride for Revenge. If you don't know who Ride for Revenge is, it's a, a unique style of raw black metal where um, doom and punk and all manner of things come in to influence its style in a really kind of an incredible noisy experimental way uh much in the you know if, if we're not going for the bathory comparison probably barathrum is where i would go with ride for revenge uh but for hail conjurer you're not getting the same thing on every album and so we've gotten a lot of them from him and some of them have been variously heavy on the synth some of them are more the uh, harsh and abstract sounds and this is more so on the harsher black metal spectrum but really it's more of um uh it's almost like if you applied atmospheric sludge metal techniques to beherit but then got kind of lost playing around with the synth so it and the reason why i would i'm not being reductive i think in a lot of ways like playing around and experimenting is, is the, the reason that the, um, the Hail Conjurer exists as a project. He really is pretty straightforward about the fact that a lot of it is planned ahead, but improvised on the spot. It's um, an emergent uh, performance that is recorded in a, you know, a, I think a relatively quick manner. And uh, the way that I see it is these are sketches that are more impressive for the fact that they are slightly improvised and that they are approximating a great work. It's sort of like you're watching someone develop skills, but also be very impressive at the same time. So sitting with this record, yeah, there's some rough edges. There's some unfinished thoughts. There's a couple of songs towards the end that do nothing for me. But overall, um, this is, it, it's, the synth work is, or keyboards, whatever you want, it is, um, some of it sounds like Ebo or, or what have you, but it all comes together for to into a very unique experience, uh, one that is both grating and uh, heavy metal, and it's, it's kind of doom too. So this is maybe more for someone who likes a little bit of atmospheric doom, but also black metal without being you know playing to those very exacting tropes like i said you know maybe if you like uh beherit and barathrum it's a good place to start uh but he goes his own way and um i'd especially recommend this if you uh enjoyed moon oracle if you follow bestial bursts output uh that was a pretty uh, exceptional record in my uh, opinion and i think this kind of follows suit in a strong way and so if you like this or you like that you'll probably like both that's the thought um read the full review get all the details here and uh reserve judgment get get through the first half of the record and then before you gush over it sit through the second half that's then you'll understand why the, the score is pretty high uh but it's not a perfect record. It will impress right away, but there's there's a couple of things in there I didn't like that were just kind of like fucking noise, and that's not for me. So it might not be for you either. So that's my recommendation. So do with it what you will. <laughs> 